Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Mic Up Practice Round. I'm Jeremy Colling, joined by Paul Uliberry. Mm -hmm. We are here in Morton, Illinois, for the 2021 Ledgestone Insurance Open. Yes. We are here at Northwood Gold, Northwood Black, Black, the new edition. We had the toughest course on tour, and Nate Heinold, being the Nate Heinold he is, yes. decided to make it even tougher. The front nine, never seen before by me. I played it yesterday. Okay, so we got a little bit of experience. We're not going to go through this course with just two people. No, we can't do it. We aren't getting enough views on these videos. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting plenty of views. But we wanted to get more, so we decided to bring in a special guest yeah. today. The second guest that we've ever had on mic Up Practice Rounds, if you don't count Nate as a guest, which I do. Introducing Calvin Heimberg. Oh, I thought it was Alan Stewart. <laughs> Alan Stewart <laughs> also. <laughs> Calvin, sure. you can stand up on the tee box so you oh. make your mom proud. There you go. Stand up tall. I'll shrug a little bit, make you okay. look taller. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. You didn't invite me, though. There was someone on this crew. It, we discussed it, okay? We do everything What's as a team here. Saying that? Everybody so. knows who calls the shots. Yeah, I don't call them. I am the, <laughs> I'm the front man. That's what I do. Anyways, let's get into it. Enjoy the round. Are we playing for any money? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you can't throw, you can dance my dog. Break it down. <laughs> Let, me break break it down. It down. Let me break it down for you. This hole's going down to the recycling center, 455 feet downhill, and we've got early and left OB. There's a right side gap for the flex forehand for players that are a little bit scared of maybe throwing the forehand that hits and kicks left. Also backhand turnover, again, kind of scary with the fade factor. This is like a super huge bonus to get to start your round. All right, so, you, you wanna go? Sure. Calvin. I'm up. You're up, dude. Oh. You're our guest. Okay. Be, be our guest, be Joe Mess's guest, whoever runs these things. Two off the first and we're I don't playing know who for- uh, runs them. I just know who called me. We're yeah, sure, who what called are we you? Playing for? Jonathan. Yeah, he runs these things. <laughs> what are we playing for? I don't know, Calvin, you want to play for something? Okay, Pencils, what are we playing for? 20 bucks. Hmm? 20 big ones. 20 big ones? Yeah. Okay. Two off yeah, the first, you're up, go. All right, be some sort don't of rush handicap. it. He smokes us. No, he no, I've been caging all my putts recently. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. He still shot eight, <laughs> nine better than me when he caged every single yeah. putt that round. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it was. It was. Turn. Oh, God. Oh, geez. 20 bucks, really, Paul? Seriously, dude? We oh, it's okay. Off. We get two tries to get to there. Have a little confidence in yourself, bro. Do I go back to back or do you guys follow that? I'm going. Well, you get one shot, Calvin, and you shush. <laughs> and you'll like it. <laughs> Gosh, that was really good. Flip. Oh, that needs to be what it's doing. Yeah, it's a flippy ah. dog. Oh, then it Now give me an left. idea. How, is that OB left? Is no. It, how far I don't is think it so. left? It'll be close, but it's like. Oh, wow, it's close. All right. It's like a little farther than that. I never, I never made it that far down the fairway. I've lost it this short. The one time I threw this hole. That's OB for yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, it's going to kick right. Yeah, knew it. Right in the middle of the fairway, Paul. Some people are lucky. Why don't you use your eyeballs? Some people got it. All right. One more. Didn't see it coming. <laughs> didn't so see it coming either. That was good so point. bad. Jesus. Go in. Oh. Nope. Oh, long shot. 20 bucks. <laughs> the course gets a little harder. Okay? Yeah, well, good. <laughs> Late turn back in. The you eagle. don't scare me. Got it. <laughs> scare him, though. I know. All right. So first thing is I have to call out all the fat shaming that you guys have been doing to me. You guys literally call me fat all the time. So I'm on a diet because fat shaming is wrong, but it worked. Congratulations to all you little commenters out there. I'm gonna be looking good. Then guess what? I better see in the comments, man, Yuli's looking hot. What the heck? Most handsome man ever. I'm watching you guys. Boy, oh boy. I have heard some things about this course and I am eager to see it for the first time. This is traditional Nate Heinel style where it's already super challenging very forward thinking but this man is interested in challenging the best of the best 
And right off the get-go, it looks like we are gonna be challenged today. Do I look like an 80s model? Always. <laughs> With the pads? Put them underneath the sleeve of the shirt. Kind of cute. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. Um, what did I do? I hit this. Was I this far? You were pretty far. Okay, then I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Honestly, if I was gonna make it, you'd be you're in a great spot. All right. But you are gonna make it. God dang it, Paul. What are you doing? He's get trying to get the out of the way. What are you doing? I'm trying to get out of the way. He was in the shot. Give me that. Why, dude? Okay. Get out of here. What? Did you have, like, sugar pops this morning? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Coffee. <laughs> All right. Let this be a lesson to everybody. Reasons why to throw into the fairway. Yeah, this is what, exactly. Um, <laughs> Exactly. All right, so he thought it was here, right? Is that why he's... Okay. Okay. Man, it looks so lost that it's got to be... Shit. You remember when he thought he was going to go make his putt and then he had to throw an upshot? Did he hit a What tree? did my disc do? It literally just went... No, okay. okay, he's good. Crack. Allen, to in farther. In there. You're lucky you didn't go OB with that shank. <laughs> That's OB long? No, there's no way there's OB long, is there? There probably is. Oh my God, can you Maybe imagine a drive almost acing and then going 32 feet long and you're out of bounds? Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I could too, I don't want to. Oh my God. Calvin, that cage is not welcoming. We're at D-Glow again, folks. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're a whole state away. Yeah, that's the scary part. See, oh, like that, Calvin, more of, a, more of an extension. Save. I'm not feeling so bad about the 20 bucks now that I see Calvin's into it. Yeah, but... Oh, music. Oh. Oh. You were all scared. Ooh, he drives it so good. Oh, he throws two perfect drives and we hit all the trees and lose our discs. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just lucky that uh, you guys got to take two off the first two. We get to take two off every tee. That's the point of us being the hosts. Oh, man, I'm screwed. <laughs> Noob. Hole two, par four, 580, up the hill, breaking to the right. A lot of people are gonna go with straight mid-range or power forehand to get around the corner, and then it's just a straight shot from there with a little drop off behind the basket. All right, Calvin. Wait, nice I have to lead off again? <laughs> Our guest house, it's still your box. I, mean, I don't even know where the corner is. Oh. oh, God. Do I trust him? He said straight mid-range. Power forehand. Or power forehand. Do you yeah, want, but do you want me to Calvin just go? Want to think, no, it's, no, he's he's playing us for twenty fine. bucks. It's fine. <laughs> twenty bucks, thing. Yeah. yeah. I was always so focused on the curse, but then you kind of broke it again. Kind of smoked it last week. That was nice. Nice <laughs> shooting. You want that twenty feet, thirty feet, right? Oh, that's picture perfect. That's great. Oh yeah. Okay. But you should try to get more right. Technically, you went second last time. So you're trying to jump my box? I was just scratching off the dirt for you. Just taking my feet. How does he know what power forehand players do on this hole? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy we invited you. <laughs> yes, I love that he's switching. Oh, wait, no, he's going, he's going from a mid range I'm to a I'm grown driver. up. I don't take <laughs> things so personal anymore. Yeah. Okay. Because he had his fruit. Give me the dang <laughs> sidearm. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Show us, power guy. I will. After game three, they were like sons and five. <laughs> <laughs> sons and six. Well, it's going to take sons and seven. Mm. Ah? Picture perfect. <laughs> After game Way four, up there. they were like, at least you saw home court hill. advantage. <laughs> Do you, uh, did you wear that because you care anything about the Bucks, or because you solely wanted to troll Yuli? I mean, just solely for Yuli, really. Got it. I don't care about the Bucks. Yep. Yeah, I like Unless that. Unless it's the Tampa Bay Bucks, you know. Oh, Go Bucks. dang. It's a good year for the Bucks. Dang, nice. It's not going to be a good round for that 20 bucks, though, to catch my drift. <laughs> oh, what the heck did that hit? Why? Sherm didn't catch the drift. Was that not inside enough? 
I think oh, you there's wanted a, to go wider. There's one tiny tree in yeah, there. Yeah, there's a tree in there. I'm middle. taking that one because oh, you guys my. tricked me. <laughs> I didn't trick that you. That tree blends in with the background yeah, you so did. much. I didn't even know it was there. I wish I could say I cared enough about trolling Yuli to have spent $35 on this hat, but <laughs> truth is, is I don't. Well, I've spent a lot more than that trying to troll Yuli before. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds. <laughs> I mean, this hat in itself is a part of a whole scheme to troll Yuli. Mm. But you don't know that because you don't watch our practice <laughs> rounds. <laughs> well. There's just too much content out there these days, Jerm. Oh, this is actually a good point. This is a super quick turnaround this week, and it kind of shows the, the busyness of our schedule. We finished the reserve on Sunday. It's now Tuesday. One travel day, about seven and a half to eight hours of driving yep. to get here to Peoria. And then only two days to play two courses that are on opposite sides of town that are both very challenging. They're like 25 minutes apart. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look at this, up to the top. Here we go. Yeah. In a perfect yeah. position. The tree in the second. middle. Mm -hmm. Not a perfect position. Pretty painful. Crap. It looks like your little wussy sidearm's up first there, bud. That's right. He said, oh, I didn't see the tree in the middle of the fairway. I really didn't. He said that. But I know it's yeah. there for next time. <laughs> he did. I'm toast. But that's why it's a practice round. All right. He's a practice round. Ready, Wing? <laughs> Cute little sidearm he threw there. Oh, bummer. That looks like a triple bogey. <laughs> There's OB left too. <laughs> really? No. Did you not listen to the whole breakdown? <laughs> I couldn't hear him over all the Suns and Four talk. Am I going to break my hand? No. Well, yeah, I mean, after game four, they still had home court advantage, but it wasn't enough. Wow. It's going to be relentless on that, huh? It was almost outdated last week when we were making jokes, but we're still going to go for it three weeks in a row. But like, I have the hat. It's a sweet hat. It's I got know. gold on it. That's Twi how you know it's expensive. Dang, you hit that tree too. I know. Yeah, my shot was pretty easy though. Hmm? New cart? Yeah. This is my new signature cart from Zuka. White wheels, little white yep. frame with the black straight. accent. This is just extra because bigger, bigger tournament and need a little more storage. But oh it. man, I shanked that. Doesn't it's get easier quite than beautiful. this, and I still shank. And, oh, in the yeah. circle. You shanked your shot? Yeah, but it kicked back towards the basket. Like how close? Like hit the cage in your next putt range? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'll hit the cage. Right. Things I've learned so far in this hole. Keep it straight. There's a tree in the middle that's hard to see because it blends in the background. Maybe even be left of what you think is straight from the tee. Straight shot from there. That way I can watch this before my round on Friday or Thursday or whatever day we play this course. And remember. Hey, Jerem, we're back here. Well, I am. <laughs> I'm here too. Oh, yeah, that's true. Ooh. You really just do oh. that? I know, I hate it when I put my up shots in the circle. It didn't look so menacing. I thought it was going to the fairway. That was just a bad release. A little high? It was just a bad release. Height was huh. great. This could be bad. Could be good. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Cut, cut, take two. Gosh. <laughs> that was just Ooh. awkward enough to really, really Wait, suck. we're not allowed to cut those out? I have a theory that this will be Jeremy's most. That might be a new record for fastest tree hit mm -hmm. out of the hand. Ever. It might not <laughs> even been out of the hand. That's an impossible record to break. I called triple bogey to give myself a buffer, so. <laughs> I called triple bogey to give myself a buffer. You got that putt, bud. I hear you snickering. I don't need you to. No, I'm being my... serious. Now I'm snickering. Because <laughs> that was a genuine, you got it. 
he was putting for par a while ago. I called triple bogey to give myself a buffer. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, there's eight holes left. Oh, that's not right. And every hole is like this. Are we doing a front 10 or are we doing... 10. He told me 10. We're doing 10 today? That's what yeah, I thought. We're doing 10. I don't know. That's no. right. We'll uh, figure it out. It's too late to not. <laughs> Good putt. I'm supposed to hit the cage. Well, I needed to get one birdie here. Just to remember what it feels like. Honestly, How does it this feel? is a course you could... I feel like, from what I've heard, this is a course you could play and not know what a birdie feels like. Yeah. yeah. I heard the same thing. Nice bar. I caught a good kick off that tree that I shanked it into. Yeah. It just stayed I in got the a good kick off a tree too. All right, if I make this and I still beat the score that I called, so I'm technically but, winning. But it's a tester. Oh, it's a tester for sure. Oh, if you guys tied, then do you play it off? Well, technically I got the score I wanted. Calvin got the score he wanted, so, you know. I'm fine with par. Yeah, I'm fine with double bogey. <laughs> <laughs>we're here at hole three, 604 foot par four. Goes straight and then slowly drifts to the right. I've been told it goes down a hill towards the pin. So I think we're gonna be attacking this with a kind of straight disc that are gonna slowly drift right. Don't wanna push too deep into the woods or turn it over too early. Calvin, nice birdie. Thank you. Yeah, good I job, dude. Still my box. Bucks and six. That's what happened. That's what I got in the last hole. A six. Okay. I think that's perfect, and it might be perfect. So, just in case. Oh, nice huh. shot. What'd you throw there? TL3. TL3 went fairly well. Jeez, that looks good. Uh, Cam says, chill out, there's people down there. Calvin. How was I supposed to see him? No, them? no. You're taller than me. Yeah, we He's taller it. than me. I never check because I'm not tall enough. Yeah. That's up to We're you good now. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could have just done this before you threw, Calvin. Just ask Kevin. Kevin can ask Kevin. Honestly, can. I'm Kevin new to this. Tell Kevin. I'm, Kevin new, can tell I'm you. new to this. I'm not, I don't know how to talk to Kevin. Calvin, and... I'm the guy who hits people on accident. Yeah. Twice. There's a new guy in town. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch out, Billy. Oh, that's got the height. Flip. It's going to kick right, though. Uh, just drop that. That's fine. good. Yeah. That is, was awful, too, though. Is there is there a hero shot from there to the green? Yep. Okay. My release is so bad. Sorry. Oh. Get right. Okay. Just straight. That would have been good if it was better. Oh man, that destroyer comes out in two places. It comes out here at Ledgestone every year in Idlewild. And I don't know why it doesn't just stay in the bag, but it's the tastiest destroyer I ever had. And actually, you owned it at one point, Yuli, back in what? like 2011. What's that? That destroyer that I just threw. Oh, nice. Probably because it was Will Shoestrix. Is... And somehow it got to my friends in North Carolina where it was a wedding gift to Josh and Cynthia Friend. And then somehow I got my hands on it. Oh, I gave yeah. it to Dustin Keegan when I was still playing for Prodigy. Yeah. And then when I joined Innova, I stole it back from him. Nice. It's been all over the place. Hey, Josh. Rockstar Energy Drink. Sugar-free, so I can keep slim. Also, very good if you're a rock star, kind of like me. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, I love the gold-plated star. For everybody who, you know, has those great platinum releases, if you're a rock star. Rockstar, if you're out there and you want to sponsor me, I'm a great spokesman. Very smooth with my words. And it kind of matches the brand for how smooth this goes down. The energy it gives me really gives me the confidence to move forward with success. And that's why together our partnership could last a lifetime. What's the point? Oh, when we go down another. All right, we can cut what I'm about to say, right? This is. Now we now cut can back. keep rolling. Now out. we can cut back in. Right there, what we just cut out is proof of what Yuli just told me.
Jerem's gonna love this course. Kevin, you're good right there. I'm gonna take your hat off. I'm gonna throw roller. Roller? Yeah, because I have no run up. That's good. Wow, that. Oh my gosh, I thought that was gonna be so bad. I thought I was about to kick right. That would be a good placement for a hole right too, though. That would be a little more realistic. Oh, too bad there's trees there. Oh, that was gonna be so good. I know, if only there weren't trees on a wooded <laughs> course. There wasn't a scatter plot of <laughs> trees across the entire fairway from left to right. Okay. Two inside. Uh, all right. A nice shot. short, maybe. Nice part. I think this is why I'm supposed to stay attached to belt buckles. I wander out in front of their shots. Oh! Oh. Almost. Left with a tester. See, there I'd have to do like a, before I'd have to do like this touchy little backhand. It's gonna be a rude awakening once the bogeys start rolling in for me, you know? What, because you're parked now for birdie? Yeah. So you're gonna be two down, and I'm gonna be two up, and Paul's gonna be what? Schmeven. Schmeven. Schmeven, if he makes his putt, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty good at putting. I know. You're really good. Where are you at? I'm right there. Oh, you're like super parked. <laughs> yeah, I was I made awesome it like shot. partly down the hill with my putt that I was trying to make. <sighs> yeah. Maybe I'm still out, even. This green is quite green. I think the whole course is pretty green right now. Yeah, it's very, very fresh. Like the entire state, probably. Nice. Yeah, I didn't realize I actually had to make a putt to stay at two over. Good birdie, buddy. Right. Yep, that's sick, dude. That's going to be a rare birdie, I feel like. That's gonna be like a six to seven percenter. I Maybe. think that's every hole. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's gonna be, I, I don't know if we'll have more than one hole. Maybe one or two holes in the course that will average below par. Yeah, I don't or know. Is, we'll see. I mean, there's certainly no gimmies. Hole four. 637 foot par four. I think the play is gonna be the forehand that slightly turns over and finishes right to give yourself the biggest opening of the gap. But a lot of players are probably gonna throw the fairway driver to try to punch through that thick tree line that's on the left side of the fairway that's divided by the big tree. From there, it's about 200 feet, go over a bridge, over a creek, to grandma's house we go. All right, well, you know, we'll see. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and there's the fairway driver through the trees, getting all the way through the Nice shot. Gap. That's perfect. <laughs> the trick is dragging your feet. The trick is dragging your feet. <laughs> no, you need much, much less tread on your shoe. Thanks for giving me enough space. Oh, yeah. Appreciate dude. that, buddy. Also, there has to be about six to eight holes in your shoe for it to properly roll over when you're throwing. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going with a Miss it. nuke. Oh! Let's see if I can throw a good shot today. <clears throat> Hole four. Try another one. It's about time for me to, to start thinking about throwing a good shot. Nope, not hole four. Oh, oh whoa, it's good. It fits good, it's lucky. Perfect. It's like the gap I want to go for, but nice. not the route. Why does it smell like my grandpa's shoe closet out here? It just smells like <laughs> <laughs> musty. <laughs> Probably because of the mulch. All right. You haven't been Did to my the grandpa wear yet? mulch shoes, Paul? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what happened back then. <laughs> Rest in peace, Grandpa. <laughs> Dang. Jeez. I know, it wasn't. It, well, I shouldn't have said Grandpa. I should have said my uncle. Gosh, dude. 
Hey, you want to see one of the best features of these shoes, Jerem? What's like the best thing about your, those shoes? Your toe feels a little hot, okay? Yeah. You're just walking around. And then you just you just drag your toe, boom, air. <laughs> so air for your toe. You know, you what right. you need to do next time is have a pair of orange socks, because right now that <laughs> blends in so much with your shoe. That it doesn't even look like that's at your sock <laughs> exposed. So apparently plus six on this place is thousand rated golf to give you guys at home a reference of how hard these are actually really playing. So around even par is gonna be 1050-ish, which is pretty crazy. Is that a tornado one? Yeah, this is, you gotta get off the course, leave your disc where it is. <laughs> oh, don't lie, a... <laughs> don't mark your lie. Okay, don't, don't go left. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at that. Holy moly. It is a strange thing, man, going eight hours across the country to oh, right have here. two days of practice and you have to learn a brand new course. So a lot of the, the guys that are taking this disc golf thing to the next level came here before they even went to the preserve. Like I know Macbeth came out here. I know Dickerson's been out here for 10 days. I think he's been out here man, for nearly two He weeks. really loves talking, doesn't but he? Um, it's his not favorite a lot of time, time to learn this course in particular, which requires a very intimate knowledge of the landing zones. This, this is very difficult spots to be and hold over. It's going to be, I think we're going to see a lot of people kind of give up throughout the course of this tournament on, on this course, um, just because they're just deflated by another tree in the way, you know, they just didn't know the course well enough. Or throw good enough shots. Wait, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't. Did you do it? Mm -mm. 264. Wanna do a bet, like a dollar? Did you I actually did. do it? I didn't, I promise. All right. 231. 254? 250, 255, yeah. You win. I knew there was error in those. Two different numbers, same spot. He's taller. Think about it. Yes, my Math. trigonometry is it's simple built science. into my eyeballs, my robot <laughs> eyes. <laughs> it's simple English, dude. Yep. Okay, sorry. I'm giving you space. I'm moving. I'm moving. Tornado's Appreciate gone. It. What if that was just a tornado? Like that wasn't the sound of a tornado? <laughs> Siren? It was a tornado. <laughs> woo! woo. <laughs> outside the box thinking that we bring you here for. <laughs> woo! You know what I mean? No, I got yeah, it. Yeah, that's I think we all got it. Unfortunately, yeah. we understood we will never what you know. meant. No, you're right. We could have been. This has been in big time danger. <laughs> oh, that's so good, Paul. Don't hit that. Thank you. Wow, what a shot. Oh, thanks. Sick, nasty, dude. Oh, now it's going back up into the funnel. <laughs> you're still talking about the sound. Yeah. Skip in. Nice shot, dude. Thank, Thank you. Me. All right, nice. here's, it's gonna happen. We'll zoom in here. Uh, got 11 time eagle, never thrown, sticker still on it. Kevin Jones hat's coming off. Kevin, keep saying Kevin Jones, Kevin Jomez. <laughs> ramp, ramp. They didn't know I was coming in with that heat. Oh, shanked. Go. Ooh. Oh, boy. That could have dropped in the creek for... Honestly, I can see it. It's not in the creek. You it would never have. throw a flex sidearm there to open up the fairway? Um, I've seen you throw a sidearm. You're good at it. He's got a great forehand. Yeah. Especially with his yeah. little rhino. You know, if I had a slower disc, I like to flick a lot. The rhino's too fast? I just don't... I don't have a good release with the Rhino, I don't know. All right. Maybe it's just because the one I have is kind of gummy. Have you tried the Mortar or the Cayman? Yeah, I got a Cayman in the bag. I'm yeah. okay with it. Cayman could have worked there. I just didn't even think yeah. about it. If you threw some Annie, it would have came in nice. Came in nice. I see what you did there. <laughs> I found some really dumb bugs out here so far. Nope. Some of the dumbest bugs I've ever found. Imagine being a bug and getting killed by your eyelid. <laughs> <laughs> like, what a way to go. Like, oh no, I'm That's in a nice big giant eye. What if, what if we all are just one tiny bug in a big, big super giant's eyelid right now. And time is just relative and we're waiting for the giant's eyelid to blink and crush us all. It's possible. That's the thing. <sighs> English, you know. Uh, that might have been a football. 
Yeah, might have. But it wasn't second. I'm not gonna call it because he's my buddy. <laughs> Actually, that would be cheating. So I'm calling it. Wow. So that's calling it. I gotta call it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm. Was it collusion? This is escalated. Yeah. Hey, Alan. But, congrats on Aaron Rodgers coming back. You know, Let's go. Go pack. It's go. Real stressful, just like having all now these good tee shots. Like Nelson again. people Come expect on. birdies on every one of these holes when you throw a good tee shot. I haven't thrown one good tee <laughs> shot. <laughs> I'm, even I'm scrambling like a genius. Hole five, par four, 451 feet. Dead straight, you're gonna need a controlled shot that goes about uh, 230, 235, 240, kind of like that. And then an easy left to right turn with a little touch up a hill. Thanks, Is it your box? No. You got a par, I got yeah. a birdie. It's your box. I got a box, I got a birdie. Hey, hey, hey. I feel like that's pretty good. Oh, that's really, really, oh, he turned the camera. No, oh, don't turn man. the camera, Mike, turn yeah, it's back gonna around. Be, now it's gonna be like more of a high yeah. thing. Yep. Instead of easy. Turn around, never make turn around when you throw in on hole five at North Oak Black. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like you rushed it because he was, <laughs> I, was Cause he... I was running out of words, so <laughs> yeah. I had to get it out quick. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Your shot looked great, Calvin. Yeah, that was awesome, buddy. Way to show some little zipper touch. top 2002 USCGC Rhino can be sold on the Northwood Black Market for 500, 600 bucks, probably. Jeremy, not all of us can just sell this for. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a almost disc five flipper. I'm just on the collector's market <laughs> every day, just grinding away. Some of us are just out here to that play this it. golf. You're just out there grinding. I know, dude. On, on the on the market dude you know what there's something to be said about grinding man like on the on the disc golf page like <clears throat> our buddy devin owens remember devin on tour he was mm -hmm. always just grinding he was always buying and selling he <laughs> for sure he sold disc golf air fresheners for a period of time <laughs> like, <laughs> he made hundreds of bucks selling them they were the worst smelling things of all time and they just had like the clip art disc golf basket on it but they sold because people love the basket oh, i went too far too maybe no, oh, I should be good, but that's not perfect. Yours is, yes, okay. absolutely perfect. Yours is a little pinched, it looks yep. like. Okay. How far? Oh, it's yeah. about 90 feet, is all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I was expecting something much more Nate Heinoldy for the second shot. This is pretty manageable. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> so you say that now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to hear this and change it. A little too wide. Lumber is expensive right now. Yeah. Building Ooh, a house. It's free if you throw like I do. <laughs> I like that joke. <laughs> you should just throw a little Firebird, your stable one, and then. I know, but it's cheat. like 220 feet. I can't get away from it. Yeah. Maybe RX3 right. when I'm at that distance. So it's just the ego of how short the shot it's is? It's always been an ego. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> it's never not been an do ego. Do I try to okay. hide like a genius as you go with the Firebird? Jail free. I'm not really in jail. You can't even throw a bad shot by throwing that disc on this shot. What do I do? Do I go get out of jail even though just I'm not go in jail? Just throw a Firebird or something. He doesn't have those. I don't have that. Different anymore. sponsor. I'm going to go a little techie. I tech. think it's a backhand turnover with your putting putter. I don't think it is. Probably Rip, to get out, ripped he as hard had to as get out of jail for I was just joking, but he actually was going to throw it. This will work. I mean, a little yeah, short. It did. Throw your little get out of jail free thing. Kevin, you couldn't be in a worse spot. You're going turbs? I don't know. I, that or I release it from my, my chin like Matty O. I can't do that. Just like blow it. That's how he does it, right? Yeah. I feel like there's gotta be a better line out of there. Yeah, I think you're I think you're being lazy. I think Calvin and I both think there's a better way. I'm gonna sidearm it. You want wanna go back there? Come on. Are you... We're coming back there. Can you get like a little graphic for the dun, 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 pot off? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Just freaking make it, dude. Use your imagination. All right. 
I'm player next. two, you're up on dun 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 dun. Oh boy. <laughs> I had my reasons. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being lazy as Dang, well. Is that stinging no or is I'll that? Go to the yeah, it's definitely out here. I just got a viper bite to my shin bone. Okay. Oh. Calvin, <laughs> you're right. the third contestant. Third contestant. Basketball. Matty American. American. Oh. It's, <laughs> what? <laughs> you're clear to putt. I don't know if I can putt it that far. <laughs> We'll try it though. They aren't going to catch that reference till the end of the year. I just got to pretend like I'm Giannis. Game <laughs> six of the finals. Bucks and six. This dude. is a free throw. This yeah, is a free throw. It's the only time he's ever made them in his life. 17 and 19. Oh God, the hat's in the way. <laughs> Shooters shoot, baby. Oh God. Oh, no Giannis. one hits metal. <laughs> I wonder you. if a turbo would have worked. That's about as tricky as a 40 foot putt gets. Yeah, a turbo was definitely the play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was. He was trying to talk me out of it. Nice I guess ball. he didn't want to make it. <laughs> there. See, this is what I'm talking about. Everybody was like, oh, Jeremy's being dramatic again. I'm, I have the worst lies in the world. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Why'd you throw it there, though? <laughs> you also had the easiest lie. Because lumber's cheap. To get to the worst lie yeah. in the world. <laughs> you had 142 oh. feet left to the pin. I know. It's an embarrassing not getting up and down. I was in the perfect drive for the shot that I want to throw. I think high. there's something to be said about the high speed there, just because you can throw it so low and you're going to get the result you want. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. I got you, bro. All right, hole six is a par five, 947 feet. Fairway looks like it bends a little right before it's gonna hook way back left. So I'm thinking you just wanna get one in the fairway, maybe pitch up to the corner, Smart. and then hopefully have a clean ideas. shot to the basket. Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, your... Is that actually the play you just wanna... Hey, birdie. Like, hey, you, you just wanna like get in the fairway down there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like fairway shot and then bush probably got stuff pitch the corner. Easily. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get my impersonation of let's see how it plays out? How far right does this need to go? Let's see how it plays out. Pretty good. <laughs> you looked handsome. Pronunciation was perfect. Happy. <laughs> oh, it's complete dead in the eyes. Let's see how it plays out. I don't believe that. <laughs> You're just trying to make fun of me and I'm not no, going I'm not to let it. Fun. I'm not going to let it cut to me, dude. I'm not going <laughs> to let it cut to you. I'm trying to tell you what you look like. One shot continue. in the fairway. Hopefully, on a couple more to go. Oh yeah, this is the one that I need the James thing. Otherwise, I shank. Long strides, long hair. Oh, that looks flip. like it. Flip, flip. Come on. That was so Come close on, to man. Perfect. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Easy ten. See how I gave myself a 10 buffer? <laughs> I learned my lesson. Oh, dude, you got a spider rolling up my tail. No, germ. It's probably from hole one. That's oh, I'm so off of my forehands right. right now. Are we playing knockout? Almost the entire scenario that Let's I'm play doing. knockout. You go, then he goes, then I go, and the person in the fairway knocks the other guy out. Go. Dun, 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 dun. I don't understand how this game works. I don't either. You're out. Oh, God. Germ, you got to go <laughs> quick. Hey. Oh, I'm get out. out of my way. Oh, God. <laughs> and now I germs out, and I'm in. I do that? I'm so perfect. That wow, really you guys good. both are better that, that way. better? Yeah. When I hit that, and I curl a little bit, I get more, like, it comes out of my hand, and it doesn't make that pop and hurt my fingers. Like, see these calluses? Right. When I go straight, you can hear it go whap, and it's, like, too much tension on my fingers. But you can dial, that means you can dial the power down so get it. Ah, I got you. Okay. Right. So that is gonna. I'm feeling. You see how it flipped and rolled? Yeah. Fast. There you go. Gotcha. We'll go over it later. 
This is Mike Strauss. He's actually my swing coach and my putting coach. He's been helping me a lot this year. I told you guys about Take him on. in an earlier practice round, possibly. Get a little closer. Ill advisor roller part one. Gross. Not looking. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> me neither. Oh, that's gonna be way too far right. Hit something. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's up there. I, I don't know though. Hey, Jim, watch this. All right. Hey, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Germ, watch this. Today. Where'd it go? Oh, you gotta ask Germ. I'm just. Cold I didn't say, hey, Germ, in front of me. I just said, hey, Germ, watch this. So, what <laughs> makes you think that I was talking to somebody up there? <laughs> Maybe the projection. The directed speaking. Act. I was in my stance. It would have been really tough. That's why I was like, oh, I get what you're doing. And I had to look back and exert a lot of useless energy to then say, Yuli, me. why didn't you just try to cut straight through the woods? I thought about it. I did that yesterday. I landed by this path and then I cut they're straight like, over. It like hooks backward. Really? It's right there. <laughs> it's you really should think about Thummer. I'm not kidding. Like if JC Kester was here, he'd probably just. Yeah. Wow. It's literally right there. So, because it literally goes there and then it hooks like, back. It's over there somewhere. Um, back there. So I have the height and angle. Well, is this your my tee shot? Yeah, you went way out of turn. That's fine. Oh, yeah. What do you Speed think? Play what do you think, Germ? Play, yeah. I think you should throw Draco or Seagull. Behind us been waiting for an hour. Okay. Well, someone's I still got to throw a shot that I rolled into the woods. <laughs> I rolled into the woods too, though. Know. He's asking us for advice and he's kicking our butts. I'm not gonna tell you anything. That's perfect. Again, for the nine billionth time in a row. I'll never play the first five holes this clean again in my life. Yeah, you will. I, the I thought, basket's I, I thought this course was gonna be breaking a every single stance violation there is. I feel like I that's no a football. Is, I'm claiming ignorance. I feel like that's a football. The Safety basket is out loud and everybody here. All right. What about this, Paul? Nope. That's still a football. Still a, literally a football. The basket's over there. I hate this. Why did I say anything about anything? Like, you actually can't <laughs> Is this straddle. Fine? Am, am I behind my lie? It's not about where the fairway points. It's about I where the basket is. it's not about is. where the fairway points. The rules are very vague. Yeah, they're... <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. That's perfect. That was beautiful. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we did. Well, I'm glad we talked you out of whatever you were about to do. Yeah, that could have been disastrous. <laughs> you said Huck Lab was in here. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, oh, got it. Oh. Same piece. Wow, oh, that's cool. It's actually a very kind of weird thing, you know, like when you have these fish hook holes, like. I know it's. Like, oh, I thought I had a piece. Do I not have a piece? I'm desperate. Give me something. <laughs> I got an awkward angle, but but you got it. I got it. Maybe. I got, look at these. If you go in there, you gotta watch out. Sorry. Got it. Nice oh, shot. Oh, get through there. Yeah. That, that was, wasn't lucky at all. That was sick. It sounds like it was. It was just a little deep. It was like Calvin, perfect. Can you just perfect. chill? You're beating me by four. Okay. I'm a very sake a $20 bill for you at the end of this 10 holes. And I mean, Yuli's right there. I don't need you to make me cry on the $20 bill before giving it to Aren't me. Aren't you I four mean, under? No, three I'm not under. four under. Well, after you birdie this one? I got to throw a good forehand. Yeah, so you're four under. Don't try to trick me with, nope. I don't have a good one. Park. <laughs> why, are you, why are you playing the mind games? <laughs> Just let him do his thing. He's our guest. He's our friend. No, I am too competitive. Win at all costs. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the curse is broken. All of a sudden, Paul's angry A game's coming out. <laughs> Whoa. That was so mm. bad. Freaking A. Freaking freaking. freaking.
I didn't know it was 900 feet. All right. Oh, dude. It just worked, it went huh? around, that was nice. It went oh, I know, I know. It, it was... <laughs> Is that your real shot? <laughs> <laughs> the DX <Xavier? laughs> I don't understand. Why don't more <sighs> top pros putt with DX ABRs? Like, that's the best selling putter of all time. Mm, I don't know. With what? DX Xavier. I don't know why I don't putt with a DX Xavier. It's a great disc. Everyone's going crazy over Ricky putting a whale. Whale? Whaley? People putt with whales. Oh my gosh, Paul. Better. And best. Nope. Well, if you give me some room. Just kidding. <laughs> nope. I don't like bogeys. They feel terrible. Yeah. <sighs> That's All right. Bringing our $20 bet to one stroke advantage for you. What do you mean? Well, we always have an unwritten $20 bet. When did you write that? It's unwritten. When he got closer. Uh, tried to trick him. <laughs> Once he got closer in score. Yeah, he's like, oh. I just wrote it. <laughs> Seven, par three, 325 feet, very tight fairway. There's two routes, either the forehand flex left or the backhand mid-range that drifts just right of the center. Little gettable hole here. Oh. My you, bogue, my your bog. box, and you're at three under, and I'm at one over still with my par, and Paul drops the even with yeah, his bogey. Okay. okay. One of the things that Nate said when we were talking about this course last night, he got a practice around him today was that this course is gonna be a place where he thinks he's going to just pitch out to the fairway and not try to like fight for the par save in some places. Hmm. But, I mean like, or at least not tack for the birdie from out of position. Cause that's, that's gonna be a problem that I think where he at least saw a lot of people probably- Oh, too early. Save. Get lucky, man. Like you cannot be off some, here. Sometimes no, it's like, great to all. be lucky. But you can save par if you are. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm just saying the Which bird par. I guess par is 10.50 if you want to go off ratings. Yeah, and it's like right. the wiggle room out here for birdies on some places, you can mess up a little bit. I think on the pro scramble. tour, the par is going to be right around 10.30, not 10.50 though. I think that the yeah, once the tour comes out here. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. It's going to drop two strokes at least, yep. and then the third round might drop more. Or the yeah, third round. Some of those back nine holes, a couple of them are brutal. Oh, come on, work out of it. Work. It, it work does it, not work, work it. out. It really? Just, no, it just stays. I think you're potting, though. Yeah, you didn't I'm, hit anything. I'm okay with it. I got a couple new eagles that I brought for this course that I got to try out. I'm going to try one, too. Nope. Oh, Paul with the freaking touchy. What was that, dude? Heat? Yeah, that was the heat. But what distance did you throw? I threw the. <laughs> Heat. Oh, nice. Like a genius? Whoop. Just gotta pretend like I'm germ. I think I literally have five. This is the most Eagles I've ever had in my bag. I got five of them in the bag. It's more right than now. I got. This is becoming like one of my favorite fairway discs or woods so, discs. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't take it off. It's not gonna fly right. Well, that's that's your opinion. We'll see how it flies now and tell me if it doesn't I'm pretty actual. sure it's an illegal disc. Germ's gonna lose his mind. Oh, it's I'm so good. Wow. It's a bad. I like. I got, I got one more. Shot with and OB it's post factory modifications that aren't allowed. I think you might. If a sticker comes, you know, I don't think. Like, I don't. I don't think Whatever. sticker is Steven counted as back part home of the dick. That has his whole bag covered with it. stickers is doing it wrong. You can't do it, Stephen. Take off your glow tape when you play a sanction round. Sick of it. So you would think you say the sticker is part of the disc. The sticker is yes, like Hot when up. you does it come out of the mold. No, but it's post factory modification. It's very vague rules, Calvin. Yeah, I know. I know the rules are vague. If I make this, I will give a free Raptor to a lucky fan. This is for big, big stuff right here. I thought you, you already threw your heat. This is a second shot like, oh, look at me. I said I'd give a Raptor to a fan if I made it. Oh, I missed that part. I guess you don't like the fan. Never I has. haven't missed yet. 
Wait, I what? still have a chance to make it on this hole. Oh. Wow. Oh, I see. You're very loose with your interpretation of make. Oh, that's so low. God, I calvined it. You learned that one from me at d oh. Come on. All right. Isn't, isn't the sound just magical? For a lucky <laughs> Which part, fan. the cage or the make? The, the, the cage. Oh, I love it. One lucky fan gets a second shot disc. Back to undies. Yep, I got lucky off that tee shot. So you're down to four? Yeah. You're down to one, yeah. yeah. That's nasty, Calvin. Honestly. Four undies? Honestly, if I just like made the putts and didn't suck it up shots. That's like, that was a dirty been. pair of undies right there mm -hmm. on that last one. Yeah, basically you want to peer it to the bucket, otherwise nothing good's gonna happen. Wow. Yeah. Q Owen Wilson. Wow. Um, some people were, I guess we're doing that. Just to get inbounds left. Wow. And there is a drop zone. So if you go OB ever, you go straight to a drop zone that's only about 150 away. Wow. Hole eight is 389 feet, par three, OB down the whole entire right side of the fairway, wraps around the basket over a crazy ditch. You just have to throw it as straight as possible, otherwise you're taking a bogey. And losing your disc. Action. Rolling. Yeah, you got it, yeah. Action Martin Scorsese Jack. over here. What? <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, safe, safe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, never been here. Oh, get through it, please, 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 please. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> nice. Some people got it. Yes. I don't want to throw again because I don't want to lose my disc. <laughs> Is it really that bad? Five undies. Five undies. Let's go, boy. Oh my gosh, that's almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it out, Jerm. <laughs> God. Oh, wow. I waited three holes for that. One of the prettiest fights I've ever done in my life. Yes. Oh, it was me. so perfect. Jeremy, you got a stick in your cart. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> stick in the cart. It's worth one in the bush. <laughs> the stick. All of a sudden, he flips over. <laughs> Could have been bad. <laughs> Could have been real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Seems fair. <laughs> we don't want to punish good shots. We want to punish the bad ones, and I threw a bad one. Just waiting for to see that one roll, you know? Ah, oh, dang it, dude. That is so jacked up. Oh, Calvin's up first, because... Yeah, I didn't make it to the drop zone. I might not have kept it in bounds, but I threw it farther up the fairway. Meow. Meow. All right. You are in a good place, Mike, because this is coming in smooth and touchy. <laughs> okay, oh. last jump putt was the worst jump putt I've ever put it. So, to make it's, up. It's bound to be better than that one. Yeah. Better, but the worst putt ever as well. Freaking get it up, you. Oh, no. Mm. Ah. Dang it. I hate bogues, especially when I just have 100 feet in. Leave it yeah, a little work. Josh, if you're filming so that one? if you catch me falling, oh, it's that's not going to happen. Cut your camera. <laughs> <laughs> it happens too often. Never really had a chance with the start of the hyzer, but. All right, two over. All 
All right, hole nine is a 732 foot par four. It bends to the right off the tee. Apparently you need to get really far and really right to be able to attack on the second shot. So we're gonna be trying to throw some big shots here and uh, get into position. Okay. Fantastic, Calvin. You are a natural. I just don't know where I'm going. <laughs> four under? Yeah, four under. Nice. Sick, dude, I'm and one under for Paul? you. I'm even. I just bogeyed. He bogeyed. You bogeyed? Yep. And I'm at, I dropped to two over with my terrible play. Yeah, we'll go this guy. We'll go this guy. That's disconcerting, man, because that's the disc and the angle and all the things I want, and then it's not rewarded, so it makes me feel like, do I want to try that again, or do I just pitch up and play for the par? You know? Maybe I don't think back you can throw that any better. And even oh, that thing's going to come out and push the OB to the right of the basket anyway. No, it's too much turn. turn. That thing does not know how to finish oh. right. That was perfect. Oh, really? Again. Sweet. Did you bogey as well? Yeah, I bogeyed. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Keep going forward. It's really tough. Yeah. Really huh. tough, tough. That was like a Calvin there. shot. What, down the fairway? <laughs> yeah, kind of like a down a fairway shot. <laughs> Do you see me get attacked by that tiger? Oh my god, no. Germs probably get attacked by the Not my tiger. day. Yeah. Oh, I'll try again. Calvin, you having a good time today, bud? Yeah, it's been pretty nice. I hope you guys enjoyed me more than Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't Nate here today, Paul? He got paid money to do something else. Uh -oh. and he literally chose money over our fans. He chose huh. money over friendship and fans. Uh, no, to be fair, he's actually got a really cool thing going on down there in St. Louis. What's the name of the course? Not sure. Not sure. The name of the event is not sure. Now he's doing a skins match that's going to be coming out pretty soon on another production company. I think GK Pro. Yes, so it is. Go check that out. Weave that out. Now we can we can plug them. They're good people. Not as good, but they're good. No, I'm oh. kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, great. He's I'm never going to be on a skins oh, match again. He's geez. never going to be on a skins match again. No skins <laughs> match. I'm just kidding. I love those guys. I think they're great. And Please they do a really skins great skins match. match. Yeah. They have a really cool little... Hey, Paul. Can I play my second drive? Huh? My second drive? Can I play that one? Yeah. For sure. I'm getting beat. Come on. That's a real, real nice move of you. Yeah, yeah well, I hate this drive. he's getting beat, like he said, and we like to keep him in a good mood. We got through the last hole. He was actually happy somehow. <laughs> we want to keep it that way. He couldn't throw the forehand. Well, he, he tried. And I love him, so I, I, would, I would just need him to be happy. This course is so hard. Okay. Just... This course is so hard. Don't tell Calvin though, because he's smoking oh, it. Oh, this boy. course is hard. Yeah, it will. Ooh. Gosh. Wow. What did that hit? High limbs. This place is so hard. There's like no good place that you can't be in the fairway and have a good shot. If you're me and you have a bad attitude. Um, Jerem, do I throw a sidearm from there or a backhand? No, you're throwing backhand flip up. For sure. This is like your, this is your wheelhouse all day with your Mantis. Oh, you want me to throw Mantis? Absolutely, Mantis. How far is it? Will you measure it for me? Yeah, sure. Got you, buddy. Do you throw the Undertaker or just the Mantis? Um, I just throw the Mantis. He does nasty things with it. 351, man. Yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a Mantis. Julie opened his eyes, did a full 360, and saw there's trees everywhere. Also, of note, first time Paul's ever agreed with me. Congratulations. I think, uh, ah! I don't know why, in my head, I was thinking the tie-dye mantis, but Take you could have made, made that cut. work. But I wanted to throw this disc. Really? Yeah. Just because I know it'll hold left and then give me that circle's edge punch left. Oh, oh. dude. Oh, oh no. I thought it was going to be stable at the end. I like the power behind it. 
I heard the Firefly was like a little more stable. Up here. <laughs> it is. I actually don't know anything about that disc, oh, but I, I might pelt the Firefly one day. Yeah, when you run out of those red P2s. I don't pelt with P2s. I pelt with alpacas. Oh, they're alpacas. Now they are. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. You should get the alpaca stamp on them, <laughs> on the back. Just get a picture of your face. Me? Sure, you're ready. Battle putt? No. Wow. I would say you big putted me, but... You're gonna make it? I knew I wasn't gonna make it before I walked up to it. <laughs> <laughs> nice putt, Paul. So, Thanks. So, yeah. Another birdie. Thank you. Told you it was a mantis. Yeah, you were right. You were right. Yep, we knew that one. Oh. I already said that. Quit trying to say it more. You're ruining this moment for you. <laughs> <laughs> Please be the closer one. No, it's a longer one. See it happen. Ooh, orange putter. For oh. the suns, you know? Suns in four. Oh, yeah, I remember <laughs> when they were saying that. <laughs> After game two. Oh, no, I don't trust myself, Jim, I'm sorry. Would've hit him right in the... Can you I know. use your towel to get the mud off? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Those other guys are gonna give you nine holes and they're gonna say, hey, we're done. We're Jim's pro, we give you one extra roll. Hole 10, a 400 foot par three, and we got a little bonus content here. Very low ceiling, perhaps a flick roller. If you're Calvin, you can just throw a smooth eagle and park it and go to five down. Annoyingly, take our money, your box. Do you have a player card for me? Yeah, I do actually. Oh, thank you. Actually, I need that back. I'm throwing with them. <laughs> that's the one I got from him at Fox Run when these things started last year and then he uh -huh. signed it at the end of the round and then he signed it again after Maple Hill well dang might be the only double signature Paul Elibari yeah his signature is elusive card. it's elusive he doesn't stick around for very long oh barely missed it too Ooh, low I can catch him Oh. I just need to ace it, and he needs a big time five putt or whatever. Just give me a double snitch. You keep the other one. It's yours. Okay. Oh, God. Dude. Picked it up, man. Yeah, that was a gift. I would have stayed in my pocket if Germ didn't make me take the other one out. Dude. Until I did laundry, of course. You gonna air shot it? I'm back to undie par. Good job, dude. Really? Who lines up from this side of the pack? People who want birdies. Oh. And throw like me. It's not a roller. No. It's a roller for sure. No way. Ooh. Now it's a roller. <laughs> Second shot <chef> roller. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ooh. I like the angle. I think it's a par. I meant to cut it more. You right. Wow, that's oh. so bad. Does he keep this in his bag normally? He keeps that in his bag. He, actually, this is a true story about Paul. He, he actually loves his fans, contrary to what we've told you guys earlier. Um, or he loves himself uh, a lot because he bought a stack of 200 or maybe a thousand, I don't know. He bought a lot of his own disc golf cards to sign and give away to people. Oh, that's awesome. So I don't know if it's an ego thing or if he likes other people, but. Wait, so do I actually get to keep this one? Of both. Do I get to keep this one? That's yours. Dang. Going to eBay. <laughs> Alan, I need you to step it up, bud. It's a long weekend, but I need you on your eight game. All right. I, I know worried. Calvin's cool and it's nice to be next to him and everything and he's beating me, but we need to stay focused. Man. Gonna eat a good lunch today. <laughs> Too thick and thin. Paid for. 
Paid for? Oh, by us. Yeah. You can get a $40 lunch. Yeah. You know, it's funny. It's like I, I've beaten Paul and these things so many times that we've always played for money. Mm -hmm. And we've never exchanged a single dime. Yeah. And, I mean, today I'm sure we'll give you your money. You know, it's but okay I've, if I've you never don't. I'm going to eat a good Paul. lunch. I'm going to eat a good lunch regardless. No, you, you, you should. You've earned it. Definitely. Me. Ooh, subtle. Nope. Yep, Has anyone ever a made a grenade putt? What? Has grenade, made putt? A grenade putt? I've never seen that. I think you just invented it. I think it's actually just called a grenade. <laughs> Was it close? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I wouldn't pick me in your grip six, pick six. But I also would, so. Oh gosh, this is a tough, this is where Ricky was last year. Did he make it? Yep. So you can make it? Yeah. Oh, you actually have a chance? Yeah. Remember I said I was gonna block you at some point in the round? Yeah. That's now. This isn't the time, Germ. It's the only time. Ah. I was playing the block ricochet. Playing the ricochet. <laughs> Nice round, Calvin. Nice 10 holes. Yeah, nice semi-circle. Good shooting. I feel like that's the best 10 holes I'll play on this course. I have a Great Lakes open. Oh, uh, no, I don't want house. any memories of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. We don't need to go back there, Germ. All right, I got a twenty dollar bill for you. I'll, I'll show it. Cool. Here you go. Roller was to here. I almost can nice. it. I can almost. Good job. I'm Jeremy Colling, joined by Calvin Tiny Toes Heimberg and Paul Euliberry, <laughs> and we just played ten holes at Northwood Black. Some of us got crushed. Some of us played pretty good, and some of us beat the other people pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. that was a solid nine, man. Yeah. Or ten. It was a good ten. I'm good with par on that hole. Yeah, I mean, we can agree to disagree. I mean, you know. <laughs> just no, yeah, you peered the gap and that's just a really hard shot. Yeah. Every single hole out here is going to be a challenge. I mm -hmm. mean, there will not be a hole. I don't imagine there's going to be more than one or two holes that could possibly average below par. Maybe not even one. That's true. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, I don't know that. if any of them will. And maybe that 320 foot one, maybe people aren't bogeying it and a couple people get the bird. Oh no, the one will average under par. The, the, 230, 230. That one will average yeah. below par. Yeah. But there's not many, and there's gonna be a whole bunch that are gonna be averaging closer to a whole stroke above par, especially hole 12, which it we haven't got out to. Thank you. Thank you, you for the card. Coverage. Starting this Saturday on Jomas Pro, <laughs> we're gonna have nice all the action you. here Ow. from Eureka Strong. and Thank from you. Morton, Illinois. We're gonna call it Peoria. Oh, he's still Starting this Friday, actually, I apologize. This is a four round event. We're not used to that. So this Friday, we're gonna start all the action here and it's gonna be two rounds here at Northwood Black, two rounds over at Eureka. That was a lot. A lot of water. You're gonna be drinking a lot of water this week. Yep. I don't got nothing else. Yeah, that's it, I think. We're done. Calvin, thank you. Thanks for the autograph, Paul. Bucks and six. Bucks and six. <laughs>